Nityananda. Welcome back to NTV News from Dhyana Pitam Ashram in Bidhiti. Today is Thursday, September 16th, 2010. During this morning's message, Swami revealed an ancient secret until now kept only by incarnations on the planet Earth. He said it is their ID card. This secret is the Ananda Ganda, the root of bliss, the source of superconscious healing. In the past, this healing source was revealed only by avatars to disciples who were ready for the information. Now, the incubator for enlightened beings is no longer intact. It is time for the masters to teach beyond geological boundaries. He said, the time is right for this information to be revealed on a global scale and the te technology is in place to do it. Swamiji so beautifully said, my happening occurred to create the new man, an ageless man. His last message during Nityananda Sutra was an invitation to all who have connected or benefited from his teachings. He is inviting all to put aside petty differences and spread this science throughout the world. He invites all who believe in what he has done to join him in giving this breakthrough transformation to human consciousness. Last night, Swamiji took a break from such serious matters and gathered with devotees at the Vaita Sarova, a healing Shiva Lingam for an evening of entertainment. Groups performed, performed songs, played flute, and also had a, pl a few plays. There was a wild drumming session too. It's a great opportunity to, sc to discover the untapped and hidden talents in everyone. The nightlife component, after a day of intense processes with the master, is a welcome break. Another highlight in the ashram is preparation for the upcoming Himalaya Yatra. The ashramites, who are the primary organizers, are getting ready to leave in a couple of days. All the participants in this yatra from around the world will meet in New Delhi as a starting point. Swamiji explained the magic and the pole of the Himalayas. The higher altitude the less gra has the less gravity pole. The less gravity pole, the less number of thoughts. This is another reason why people like to do their spiritual practices in the Himalayas because naturally the number of thoughts per second in that higher space is less without any efforts. During this yatra, a documentary will be shot titled, The Truth Is. This will be the first commercial documentary for Swamiji who will be playing the title role. Well, that's the update for today. We'll be back again on NTV. See you tomorrow. Nithyanandam.